At this hour, the political hardballs are flying. Nothing new, you say, except it's a candidate to be Palm Beach County's top prosecutor on the defense, facing a state ethics probe. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank broke the story. First on 5, he joins us live from Riviera Beach to explain. Evan. Michael, I tracked down Dave Ehrenberg's political opponent to hear Johnny Longboats, where she was holding a fundraiser tonight, and I asked her what she thought of Ehrenberg's claim that she was making this whole thing up, that she was the one behind this. She said that was ridiculous. The complaint to the State Ethics Commission alleges that early this year, Dave Ehrenberg told a political ally to pay actors to fake anger. The anger was at then-sitting state attorney Michael McAuliffe, whom Ehrenberg supposedly wanted to drop the race. I've had others against me already, and they've all been dismissed, and this one will be dismissed too. The complaint was filed in July by a 29-year-old computer tech from Palm Beach Gardens named Sean Hanlon. On October 16th, it moved to the investigation phase. Hanlon didn't want to be interviewed, but he wrote that Palm Beach County is trying to restore the public's trust after years of public corruption scandals. Mr. Ehrenberg's actions raise concern about whether he'll just add to the corruption problem instead of fighting to clean it up. Even though Hanlon insists that he made the complaint on his own, Ehrenberg says there's no way that somebody who wasn't a political pro could have written something so precise. My opponents want a politically timed October surprise. It's sad that's what politics has become. Ehrenberg's Republican opponent, Dina Kiever, says no one in her campaign put words in Hanlon's mouth. But we pushed further. Is it possible that somebody with the Republican Party helped orchestrate this? I'm sure it's possible, but I, I've never met the person who filed the complaints. Kiever says that Ehrenberg is trying to distract attention from the real issue, that he's under investigation for doing political work while working for the attorney general to root out pill mills. He continues to say he wants to rise above the negativity. Well, you can't rise above the negativity if you've created it. I spoke to the third candidate in this race, Robert Gershman, on the cell phone just in the last few minutes, and uh, he told me that he hopes that this has a resolution, that this investigation is over by election day. But the other two candidates in this race admit that that's not likely, so it's possible that voters could go to the polls and have one of the candidates still under investigation. We're live in Riviera Beach tonight. Evan Axelbank, WPTV, News Channel 5.